Okay, so you have your MetaHuman fully dressed up with your own custom clothing. And let's say that you want to add something like an accessory, like a mask on the face, or you even want to customize the shoes. And if you still don't have your MetaHuman with your own custom clothing, go ahead and watch this tutorial where you can learn the way that I dressed up this MetaHuman. Okay, let's start by customizing the shoes. If you haven't already, drag in your MetaHuman to the scene. Make sure to select it in the scene or in the world outliner. And let's scroll down to the details where it says feet. We're going to select that and under the skeletal mesh, you should be able to see either the casual sneakers or the flip-flops. And on my clothing tutorial, I recommended that you created your avatar with these sandals on. Because if you select something like the boots inside of the MetaHuman Creator, you might not be able to get the foot mesh. So make sure to select the flip-flops, you can update it and then bring it back into a real legend. So if you decide to take them away, you can simply go to feet. Let's scroll down to, I believe it is rendering, and you can simply uncheck visible, and you're going to have your MetaHuman barefoot. The next step is to export this skeletal mesh. So you just click on the browse icon. It will take you to the skeletal mesh inside of the content drawer, and you just have to right click, asset actions, and then let's just export it. It will be an FBX with all of the bone information that we need. I've been using FBX 2016. The vertex color doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to leave it as a fault. I also don't need the static mess with collision, nor the morph target. And I do have the rest of the animation checked, even though I'm not going to use the animation. Go ahead and export that. And I am going to bring it inside of Cinema 4D. But you can actually do this inside of Blender. And I recommend this tutorial by Fractured Fantasy. And this is the guy who I actually learned how to do this method. I tried it myself in Blender and it works really well. So shout out to him. And I'm going to to leave this link in the description but in this example i'm going to show you how to do this inside of cinema 4d because you can also do it inside of here let's go back into unreal engine and let's actually go into the blueprint of the avatar again select the body and let's just export this skeletal mesh of the body just to give us the mesh of the foot you can do it in the same way right click asset actions and then export and we have to bring in the whole mesh to give us a reference of the foot. I bought these shoes from CG Trader and they were only $14. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to use the same model. I brought them into Cinema 4D and I only need one of the shoes. So let me go ahead and delete the left one. I'm going to close up this menu, middle mouse button to select all of the children and then just connect objects plus delete. I'm going to press Alt and then the number 0 to reset the position, scale and rotation of this model and I want it to be in the world origin which is also the origin of the root of the skeleton of our model we want to keep our pivot point of our shoe model in this position so let's go into point mode let's select all of our points with control a and we're going to use this mode to adjust them to the feet so simply reposition and scale in order to fit them to the feet I'll go back into object mode, go to the flip-flops model that we imported. We can actually just delete those. Let's select our model, go into generators, hold in shift, and let's select symmetry over here. So it makes it a parent of the model. Now middle mouse button on symmetry, right click, and once again, connect the objects plus delete. Make the shoes a sibling of the root. And with the shoes still selected, we're going to hold shift and do a middle mouse button on the root. So it selects all of the bones. Let's go to character and let's go into bind. It's going to assign a skin deformer to our shoes and it's going to create a weight expression tag. And if you have done this right, you can double click the tag. Your shoes are now being binded to the bones. The right shoe should look blue purple and the left one should look pink, just like its respective bones. Let me go ahead and hide the body mesh. And if I now go into the root, let's select the thigh left. Let's try to rotate it. And as you can see, now it is parented, it is binded to our metahuman skeleton. Bring it back to its default pose. We can minimize their bones. We can minimize this and this as well. Select the group and let's go into file, 
export as an FPX. I don't want to import the body mesh, so I am going to click on selection only. I recommend to check triangulate as Unreal Engine as a game engine and it prefers triangle meshes. Let's get us the normal to see the direction of the face. And I do want to assign the material, so I'm going to click on material. So now when you go back to Unreal Engine, select the feed again, select the folder where we have these flip flops, but it can be any folder that you want. Drag in and import our shoes with the skeleton that we just created. Leave everything as default fold and click on import all it's going to close the drawer because it just imported something but if you go back you will see that your shoes are there and just like the flip-flops you can see that this is a skeletal mesh so all we have to do is drag it and substitute it with the flip-flops if you cannot see them remember that we made them invisible so just with the feet selected scroll down where it says rendering and check on the visible box and there you have it you now have your custom shoes and they are attached to the metahuman skeleton so whenever you animate your body the shoes are going to animate with it remember that we exported these with the material assignments so you should have access to all of the materials and finally let me show you how you can attach a mask or even a hat but as you can see the hair of this metahuman just went crazy simply just click on the metahuman go into the hair and just like the shoes let's go under the rendering and deselect the visible tag activate it once again just to reset the hair and it should be back into place with the metahuman selected let's go into edit blueprint we're going to be using the viewport tag to place our mask and to make things easier before importing our mask into unreal engine i want to make sure that the pivot point is set to the center of the model an easy way to do this inside of cinema 4d is by opening up the command line with shift c let's look up axis center and let's open this menu all of the axis should be set to zero percent so everything is for the center and simply click on execute we can close up this menu Press Alt and then Zero to bring everything to the origin. And then you can export this model as an FBX. Quick shout out to Gerardo Masacre for creating these models. If you want to support him, go ahead and check out his Instagram. I'll leave it down in the description. And these models actually has 10 OBJs of these masks, but they also come as DAS files. So you can add them to your DAS characters. So let's go back into Unreal Engine and then let's import that model. I'm just going to import here in the content. You can leave everything as default and just click on import all let's go ahead and select the face click on add and let's add a static mesh open up the browser again and drag the mask into the static mesh slot so now in order to attach it to the head all we have to do is select the parent socket of the head rotate it and position it to the way that you need it you can assign a material from here and simply just compile and save and just like the shoes this mask is going to be attached to the bones of the metahuman so any way you animate it the mask is going to follow okay so that is everything for this tutorial and for the next one i'm going to show you how you can create an animation just like this one this was made using an animation from mixamo and you have to do something that is called retargeting of the bones so if you want to create something like this using mixamo animations stay tuned for the next video